Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. In this video, we are going to solve a Jane Street quant interview problem. Check the description for more quant interview resources. Three points are randomly selected on the circumference of a circle and then joined to form a triangle. So, what is the probability that the resulting triangle is an acute triangle? Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. Here's the solution. From Thales' theorem, we know that if AB is a diameter of a circle and C is any point on the circle, then angle ACB is 90 degrees. If we now move the diameter AB upward towards C, the angle ACB becomes obtuse, and the triangle becomes obtuse angled. Note that an obtuse angle can occur only when there exists a side of the triangle, such that the center of the circle and the vertex opposite that side lie on opposite sides of it. For example, in this case, with respect to side AB. The point C and the center lie on opposite sides, and hence angle ACB is obtuse. Therefore, for a triangle to be acute angled, no side can have this property. This implies that the center of the circle must lie strictly inside the triangle. Now let's calculate the probability that the center of the circle lies inside the triangle. Without loss of generality, we can fix the first point here. Let C be the circumference of the circle. Let X represent the distance between the first and second points along the minor arc of the circle. Note that X varies between zero and C by two as the distance is measured along the minor arc. For the center of the circle to be inside the triangle, the third point must lie on an arc of length X opposite to the center as shown. Therefore, if the distance between the first two points is X, the probability that the center lies inside the triangle is X over C. This is because the favorable arc for the third point has a length X, while it can be placed placed anywhere along the total circumference C. Now let's calculate the probability density function of X. First, let's find its cumulative distribution function. What is the probability that the distance between the first two points is less than or equal to X? For this, the second point can be positioned within a distance X on either side of the first point. So, the favorable arc for the second point has a length 2X. Hence, the cumulative distribution function of X is 2X over C. Differentiating the cumulative distribution function, we obtain the probability density function as 2 by C. Now, using the law of total probability for the continuous case, the probability that the center lies inside the triangle is given by this integral. Evaluating this integral gives us the final answer of 1 fourth. Let's consider another problem. Suppose we have 35 green socks, 25 blue socks, and 40 red socks. These are shuffled randomly and are drawn one by one without replacement until socks of only two colors remain. So, what is the expected number of socks remaining? Post your answers in comments. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory, specifically tailored for quant interviews along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.